What's up, you guys? I'm Philly Salfago. I just want to start off this message because I know that there's MOBAs and there's Bucks that watch my channel. Zach Buck is next door. Um, I'm not sure if some of you know this, but he killed Hannah MOBA. And he also killed Harry and Justin Buck. Okay? So we're just going to clear that. Somebody thought that they were slick. And then when I told them what I do, who was upstairs, they, I told them everything. Uh, he still tried to clone my phone. Like, this is the problem with you people. You know what I mean? You just don't know when to stop. You have this feeling of entitlement. Like, like other people's phones are yours. What's in their phones are yours. Their lives are yours. Nothing is yours. You didn't pay for that phone. You don't give that life. The sense of entitlement on some of you people is just, it's, it's, it's disgusting. All right? You ain't entitled to shit of mine. You're going to have to come and take it. Now, let's get a message. When someone says no, God damn it, it's no. All right? That there's, there's no debate. All right, what's the message? A male tarot reader. I guess this is going to be about a male tarot reader. I really don't like when they do this shit. Let me ask something here. Is this what you need to talk about? All right. All right, I guess we're being warned about somebody. <clears throat> Maybe we should just get more white cards then. A male tarot reader is going downhill. Bad. Somebody changed. Third eye. Okay. I mean, that can mean a lot of shit. This is somebody who possibly says or talks about being awakened. Tell me more about this. Why are you guys showing this to me? A Leo? Somebody needs to, to cut this person out. Yeah, because I feel like they're... they're they're taught they're lying about what they're they are or something like that let, let me pause this damn it i want to find out who this is i'll be right back all right so they have the word flavor in their title so it's a male though it's a leo and they're saying that you need to cut this person out this this person like why though why Because they're a karmic male. I feel like that. it's just that simple. I'm, I'm guessing there's some people who watch my channel who watch this channel. It's a male tarot reader though. Because I've seen that there were other female tarot readers with the word flavor in it. It's not them. It's a male. Um, I, mean, I, mean get, I don't know if this person puts their name out there. Uh, it could be Sean though with S-E. Alright, so that's going to be for somebody. Stop watching this person because they're a karmic male and they're leading you down the wrong road. Alright, let's clear that and get another message. All right, let's get another, what's another message? Sword. I don't know, that could be relevant for the tarot reader with the sword. Um, detective is shocked at what they're finding out. All right, so let, let's find out what this shit is. Tell me about this. Detective is shocked at what they're finding out. Please, the detective, or this could be an agent, is shocked. This could be pregnancies. This could be shocked at what people um, do for opportunity, for an opportunity. Yeah, how many freaking lost souls, uh, how they can't rely on a lot of people. There could be a detective that's even finding out some stuff about people, like a friend of theirs. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a young earth sign. This could be a sibling. There could be, is there a detective that's disappointed in a friend of theirs? Hold on a second. Okay. I don't know. I guess there's even a detective that's finding out some stuff about their own friend. Braids. meditate maybe this detective needs is needs to meditate or just kind of stay to themselves because whatever this is i'm guessing that somebody found out something and just i mean this could be a detective or an agent that's chosen 
and so they're going through like a uh, like a, um, a dark night of the soul type of thing. Um, I also see that there's detectives that are in shock about how many people will gather. They're ga the gathering people. O or M. This could be Moses, Omar, Tyrone, Tyler, Nathan, Monica. It depends. Let me see what this is in the Urban Dictionary. Demand. There could be some people that... <clears throat> There could be some detectives where some family members or are demanding their time, but it's like they can't because of what they're finding out. Like something that they're into is demanding all of their time and it's because of how serious something is. I think that they're starting to realize um, that the world that we thought was like a blessing and a beautiful place is really just a big disappointment. I feel like they're disappointed in in just people is what it feels like. Um, what's OTN? A slang for penis on the niggas, on the niggas, on the niggas. That's what it keeps saying. So I don't know. Let me see something here. Hold on. Okay, I just got to say this and it's going to trigger some people. Do you want me to do you want me to say this? Do you want me to actually say this? Okay. <sighs> Tell me the truth. Is is this is this true? Okay. All right. <clears throat> I feel like some of these agents and detectives are in shock at what's going on with a large portion of black people. Okay, and I know that this is going to be triggering, and if this triggers you, then you're probably one of those people, because before you get hype, uh, if this doesn't apply to you, it shouldn't bother you, right? Ridiculous just showed up, okay? Ma malicious and ridiculous. I want to show you what they're putting on. Malicious, mom, strength. You, you look at those words, all right? This is coming from another realm through me, so don't get pissed off at me, all right? But this has been my experience as well. The sense of entitlement and what people will do for an opportunity. And I know that's why they put braids here because they wanted me to know that they're, this is about the large portion of the black demographic, um, whether it's from this country or others, and what's going on with a lot of these people, okay? Just how greedy and evil and insensitive and just how lost. Um, a lot of them are and so what I was gonna say is if you are triggered by that then you must be an issue Because when somebody says something about white people that doesn't apply to me. I don't care. Okay, somebody could literally say uh, Crack a ass ho and they could even put Taurus They could even say someone's name is my name and I'm still not gonna get triggered because I know that it's not for me so for the people who I can feel already got immediate like what if that was your response, then you are either one of those people or you are very close to being one and need to check yourself, all right? Because for those that are grounded and see shit for what it really is, they agree, all right? So I'm guessing, you know, I don't know if they want to go into detail with this. I feel like they're just letting me know that it's real disappointing. Did you want me to go into detail? It's disappointing the sense of entitlement, I feel like, is what they're saying. The system, the fact that everybody blames shit on the system, ridiculous and system. Um, are you guys saying that a lot of these people try to blame it on the system? Like systematic rate? Yeah, you guys are going to have to stop blaming the system for your bad decisions and choices, okay? And this isn't just black people. This is anybody who feels like, woe is me, or I never had a fair shot. Um, you have the same choices as everybody else, okay? There are, there are many people that are like you guys that fucking got themselves out of a bad situation. They didn't want that life, so they changed it. And they changed it by changing themselves. So, you know, whatever. Let's clear that. Bottom. Oh, okay. So I feel like a lot of them, a lot of people feel like they have, like, they feel like they're on the bottom of the food chain. And, like, it just feels real entitled. It feels like this. Um, now, the system, 
may have put out a certain type of message, right? But you don't have to abide by that. I mean, look, look, look at, look at Denzel, okay? I mean, he didn't just listen. He, if he would have had that mindset, he would never be where he's at right now. So it's like you can believe the shit that society wants you. Waters, that could be someone's last name, Waters. But you, um, you know, it's your decisions. When, when you're given life, you have, after you get to a certain age, your choices and your decision making is... is why you're at where you're at right now currently wherever this is that you're at it's nobody else's fault it's not white people's fucking fault and it's not the system's fault okay drug addicts so i feel like they're saying like it's nobody's fault that you're a drug addict okay i don't know if they just keep want to keep going into this work ridiculous and work they don't you don't want to work all right i'm just going to keep it fucking 100 they don't want to work hmm? what are you thankful for so you motherfuckers aren't grateful for shit is what they're saying, okay? What they're saying is I think that I speak for a lot of detectives and agents and people in the judicial system that are doing the right thing, um, what, no matter what color they are, because I see a lot of black people talking about their own people saying how embarrassed that they are, you motherfuckers who are acting like this, okay? Um, you're not thankful for shit. You don't sit there and look. You got a cell phone, right? You got a whip. You got a roof over your head. Did you eat today, motherfuckers? Okay, because I feel like a lot of you guys, this shit's coming down because this this could have been something. This is like a curse for you guys. It's like you curse yourselves with this mindset because you can never get out of poverty because of it. Because all you guys do is constantly keep making the same decisions, thinking that you're entitled to something or you got treated differently or you got dealt a bad hand, motherfucker. No, you didn't. Okay, you made bad goddamn des decisions. And if let's just say you were dealt a bad hand, it's up to you to change your hand it's not up to somebody else god damn it you're so fucking codependent on the system and you're codependent on what family members other people why don't you try taking care of yourself it's this ignorant goddamn attitude you know it's like i'm getting angry so i don't know if somebody around me is listening and they're getting angry because it's the truth or whatever but or maybe this is you know the agents around me are just feeling like this too like you're making more work for everybody else because now instead of like focusing on the shit that we need to focus on we got to focus on all these people who are sitting there entitled and just acting like well maybe i can just kill a motherfucker to get some money no so thanks, because now instead of like a lot of us being able to enjoy our lives, we have to deep dive deep into some shit that is like dark and demonic because of some of you guys, okay? And 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 it's it's a whole bunch of different um, ethnicities, right? But for them to be bringing this up, it is primarily this, okay? And like I said, if you are a black or African American person who did not get yourself caught up in this bullshit. You're not going to be affected by this. You're not going to be triggered by it. If you are somebody who relies on the system but does nothing but complain the fucking system about racism, you need to make up your mind, okay? Um, you can't take from a system that you hate. It's just It just doesn't make sense, all right? Dingbat free, like some of these people, yeah, you, you act like dingbats. You make dingbat moves and dingbat decisions, so united. Um, I'm going to show you what they're putting here, man, because united. Can you guys see the word? Wait, let me turn this down. They're saying that like, you guys don't understand how much more powerful we are united. But you guys keep fighting this shit. I mean, damn, it's... If you fought and stood up for the right things, you'd get a lot more yield out of it. But you're... you're it's like you're confused, man. Because you hate the system, apparently. But you got no problem taking benefits or money or EBT or snap cards from it, damn it. Loans, uh covid relief and shit and it's just like but you guys you're like it's like never satisfied always feeling like arms crossed every no nothing works for me no every time you make a decision that affects or harms somebody else that shit comes back to you so what happens is you constantly get caught up in a fucking cycle of karma because you never take accountability you never actually stop and just go well i mean i did kill my cousin you know what i mean so maybe i am in the wrong no these types of people will just keep fucking keep going on and making bad decisions killing more people raping drugging fuck off There's a lot of people that are sick and tired of this bullshit. Yeah, Range Rover motherfuckers driving around in Range Rovers and shit on government benefits and, and stuff like that. Nervous and paranoid, knows they fucked up. Well, maybe you should have made a different decision. 
Why now all of a sudden, I said, this is what this is. This is like real tough guys, tough guys that want, the perpetrators, right? Like what you portray yourself as is nothing of what you really are. You don't even know who you really are. You just know you're angry and you feel like the world owes you something. It's the, it's the most unattractive, most um, agitating type of, of person to me is for somebody that just can never, ever accept accountability for anything, right? I don't know with above showing up. It's like some of these people because of this friggin' lie in our history about slavery can actually like think that they're above people or that they should be put above people or something like that, you know? And I was going to be honest, us white people are tired of fucking hearing your excuses and how that you think that um, we're privileged. All right. Um, that shit's done. Dead and gone. Married you without your consent. So there's a lot, uh, especially like brothers that don't want to fucking work. Okay. Uh, these fatherless homes are, are a big portion of the black community is fatherless homes. Okay. This is statistics. These are facts. This isn't just me saying some shit. Like I said, I know someone's, I, I'm never going to say shit out of my mouth. That's going to please every person on this planet. So like I gave up on that shit a long time ago. I just say what really is going on. Right. So these are, you know, uh, let me ask, I got to ask some, hold on a second. Is this any other um, ethnicity that you want me to speak about right now? No, because I feel like the, the, the ancestors are livid. Uh, these are the same people that will talk about like Mar MLK. You disgrace in this man for everything that he stood for. These are the same people that, uh, you know, wear Malcolm X uh, t-shirts, but he didn't do this shit. He's fucking disgusted, I think, at, at the, these types of people representing what, what they went through. So it just, it's real confusing. It's like you guys don't even really know what you believe in. And it's frustrating for the rest of us because because of you not really being balanced with that, you're causing chaos in the world because you feel fucking entitled. Uh, these dudes and, and even women doing this shit that you feel like you can marry a motherfucker without them even knowing and then make money off of their death. I don't know who came up with this, but let me at them, God damn it. All right, because this is some bullshit. And then, one, and then these people start telling everybody else, yeah, we can do this and we can do that and this is why it got so bad you know I keep I don't know how long it takes to pass bills and to, and to make shit happen so I keep telling the people in the senate like please get rid of life insurance please get rid of life insurance all right these companies are making buku bucks so is the government but everybody's making money off of the shit except for the person the policies who, whose name the policy is in it's not fair it's putting contracts on people's heads I can't stress this enough and I know that there's a lot of topics that need to be discussed in the senate but this is people's lives now. People are putting fucking contracts on people's heads with life insurance policies. And they're offering this to people as hitmen to go kill somebody, promising them that they'll give them a piece. This is ridiculous, okay? Go get a goddamn job. How's that? And if you can't get a fucking job because you're a felon or you're here illegally from another country, oh, well, the jig is up. All right. I'm not going to go any further on this because I feel like I'm going to show you another word they put on here just to prove. Look at this shit. Evil. All right, evil. Some of you got real fucking evil. I don't know what happened to you guys, but you need to change some shit, all right? Or shit's gonna start really bad blowing up for you motherfuckers. I can promise you that, all right? So either you, you change or you will be removed because change is happening regardless. I feel like that's the message. Let me see if there's anything else um, that they wanna say. Do you want me to talk about this May, month of May, and with the mother? No. Tell me the truth, spirit. Oh, my, my mother. Oh, okay. Are you saying that a lot of them blame their mother or they don't? Yeah. A lot of these, a lot of these guys in particular, they blame their mom or something. Like, they rely on the mom. You know, they live in her basement or her house until they're 60. Um, they never fend for themselves. They can't pay their own cell phone bill. A lot of these guys are 30 and over and they don't even wash their goddamn clothes. Like their mother does their laundry. The mother cooks for them. They don't, they don't have a sense of like manhood, but it's not the mother's fault. It's not all the mother's fault. You guys, once you become 18, once you start using your dicks to impregnate women, we kind of expect you guys to make manly decisions. Okay. We don't really ask that much of you motherfuckers. Okay. We're not going nowhere. Love you, Philly out.